This is Rick Sandberg. I'm a senior applications engineer for Hawker Systems in our Portland, Oregon office. And in this video, I want to cover some new enhancements for surface modeling in SOLIDWORKS 2015. Let's begin by looking at an enhancement to splines. 2014 gave us the style, style spline, which I'm a big fan of. But in 2015, we can convert a regular spline to a style spline. We even have the ability to control the curve degree or the number of um, control handle points that we have. Drop it down to whatever we need and we can have a nice control over our style spline. Another enhancement is with the split tool which we've had for quite a while in SOLIDWORKS. But prior to this release it only worked on solid bodies. Now we have the ability to split surface bodies with this tool. Great enhancement because now we can split a surface body up and work on only the pieces that we need. Another great enhancement is with the spline on surface tool. We've had this tool for a while as well but it had a limitation where it couldn't really work across edges that were not tangent. I now have the ability to cross faces that have edges that meet at sharp angles. Once I do that, I can use that sketch to do a trim operation on surfaces and keep only the, the piece that I want. Here's another great enhancement in 2015 for surface modeling we can look at UV or parameter lines on a surface body. Prior to this release, if I wanted to see what the UV lines look like on a face, I'd have to go to sketch tools, face curves, and look at the curves in this mode and then exit out if I don't want a bunch of 3D sketches in my part. But now with 2015, I have the surface curvature comb tool which allows me to look at both UV lines and curvature combs. This is a great tool to look at the quality of my surfaces because I can zoom in and look at areas where I might be going from convex to concave within one surface. Great tool to look at the quality of my surfaces. I even have the ability to do a dynamic one which will just follow my cursor and show me the UV line and curvature combs right where my cursor is located. But perhaps the best enhancement for surfacing in 2015 is the ability to, ability to flatten faces or surfaces. So I can take faces and surfaces of any type curved in any direction and now flatten them. We've always been able to flatten sheet metal uh, parts, but that had a limitation. If I was curving in multiple directions, I couldn't flatten it. Now with 2015, I have the surface flatten tool with the ability to select numerous faces and then select a reference point and even do a control curve which allows me to specify an edge that's not going to stretch and flatten just about any shape I can model out in SOLIDWORKS. Once it's flattened, I can right click and get a deformation plot which will show me areas that will either stretch or compress when it's unfolded or unflattened. I can also export this as a DXF with the ability to do some modification, remove some entities to my DXF before I actually save it out. Print it out or send it to CNC and you have your nice flat pattern of your of your part. One possible use for this would be for a coped cut on a pipe. You can take that section of the pipe and use this surface flatten tool to then flatten out the coped section, print it out or cut it out somehow and wrap it around the pipe and know exactly how to cut that cope into it. So those are some of the best new enhancements to surface modeling in SOLIDWORKS 2015. Thanks for tuning in.